From VOA Learning English, this is the Health Report. Aid agencies are warning of a possible humanitarian disaster in Yemen, including severe malnutrition. The agencies say up to 500,000 children lack food or nutrients in their diet. Yemeni hospitals are in need of simple medicines, they say. Al Sabine Hospital cares for children and pregnant women in the capital, Sana'a. Hospital officials say some medicines, treatments, and other supplies are no longer available at the medical center. The center has no more intravenous fluids, anesthetics, or Valium. In a nearby medical clinic, doctors are seeing a sharp rise in the numbers of malnourished children. More than 500,000 people are expected to suffer severe malnutrition in 2015. Dr. Najiba Ali al Kasal says the situation is serious. She says they are facing famine with their children. Aid agencies blame the shortages on the blockade enforced by Saudi Arabia and the bombing of the Houthi-controlled port of Hodeida. Up to 90% of hospital supplies pass through the port. The aid agency Save the Children provides support to the Al Sabine Hospital. Their spokesperson, Mark Kay, recently visited Sana'a. Mr. Kay says the blockade needs to be lifted. He says they urgently need these absolutely critical goods. If they do not get them, he says, more children and pregnant women will pay the price. Aid agencies warn that about 15 million people in Yemen do not have a health care provider. They say that could be the deadliest effect of the conflict. For VOA Learning English, I'm Jonathan Evans.